Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today I'd like to show you how to find torquing specifications for electrical panels, unassembled electrical panels that you would add the guts to, and I'd like to show you how to find the torquing specifications for electrical breakers. Also, I'd like to go over the new changes for terminal connection torque in the 2023 NEC code as far as how to find the correct torque specifications when you can't find it on the equipment. This is a home line plug on neutral load center. Most of the torquing values can be found on a table on the inside edge of the panel itself. This column gives you lug type, this column gives you wire range, and this column gives you torque in pound inches. So we see that for main and neutral lugs with a wire range of 4 AWG to 250 MCM copper, the torque in pound per inch is 250. As an example, I will torque this main lug to 250 inch pounds. Torquing specifications for breakers can be found right on the breakers. This is an Eaton 70 amp breaker and the torque values can be found right where the blue arrow is pointing. Notice that the torque values will vary depending on what size wire you're putting under that breaker terminal. For instance, for 14 to 10 AWG, it's 20 inch pounds. For 8 AWG, it's 25 inch pounds. For 6 to 4 AWG, it's 27 inch pounds. For 3 to 1 aught AWG, it's 45 inch pounds. Now let's go to an Eaton 15 amp single pole. The torque values are to be found right here. And here are the torque values. Here's a square D 15 amp single pole. And the torque values will be found right here. For 14 to 8 AWG, the torque value is 36 pound inch. Here we have a Siemens 15 amp single pole. And you will find the torquing values right here. For 14 to 10 AWG, it is 25 pound inches. Here's a Leviton 20 amp single pole. And the torque values for it can be found right here. The torque value for 4 to 8 AWG is 45 inch pounds. And 10 to 14 AWG, it's 35 inch pounds. So you notice some of these manufacturers say pound inch. Others say inch pounds. It's the same thing. Last but not least, I have a Murray 20 amp GFCI circuit breaker. The torque values are found right here and they are 25 pound inch. As an example, I will torque down this home line circuit breaker to 36 pound inch. If you have an unassembled electrical panel and the guts that go in the unassembled electrical panel, you will find your torquing specifications in the paperwork that comes with these items. Now let's go to the new 2023 code. Notice the blue arrow pointing to the delta sign. That means that there's a deletion in this new code for 2023. And the shaded areas means that things are changed. So for D, we have tightening torque values for terminal connections shall be as indicated on equipment or in installation instructions provided by the manufacturer. An approved means shall be used to achieve the indicated torque value. And here are the three informational notes. Now, number one is exactly the same as it was in 2020. It says examples of approved means of achieving the indicated torque values include torque tools or devices such as shear bolts or breakaway style devices with visual indicators that demonstrate the proper torque has been applied. Informational note number two, see UL standard 486A, 486B, standard for safety wire connectors, informative Annex 1 for torque values in the absence of manufacturer's recommendations. The equipment manufacturer can be contacted if numeric torque values are not indicated on the equipment or if the installation 
instructions are not available. Here's the Annex 1 that they mentioned and is available for free on the internet. Informational note number 3, CNFPA 70B 2019, Recommended Practice for Electrical Equipment Maintenance Section 8.11 for additional information for torquing threaded connections and terminations. These documents can also be found for free on the internet at nfpa.org. I hope this video has been helpful and thanks for watching Sparky Channel.